You are listening to the Intelligent Vocalist Podcast, episode 158. Welcome to the Intelligent Vocalist with John Henney. This is the podcast dedicated to help you be a smarter, better, more informed singer. And now, your host for the Intelligent Vocalist, John Henney. Hey there, this is John Henney. Welcome back to another episode of the Intelligent Vocalist. I do so appreciate you spending your precious listening time with me. Ah, today, if I sound a little wobbly, it's because I feel a little wobbly. I just got a uh, new pair of eyeglasses, and uh, I waited a little bit of time. It's been three years since I got new eyeglasses, and my my prescription has changed a bit, man. These, these eyes are certainly not what they used to be, and I wear progressives, so... I'm trying to get used to the new glasses. If you wear progressives, you know what I'm talking about. You're looking at out at the world and you just feel a little dizzy as your your eyes adjust to the new glasses. But it is nice to be able to see things up close clearly again. Oh, yes, the joys of getting older. Um, But today I want to talk about intimidation. I've been using uh, this new uh, app, new for me at least, called Readwise. And what Readwise does is it takes your notes from your Kindle, which I have been making over the years. I read books in my Kindle. I highlight certain passages, and then I don't go back and look at them. And what Readwise does is it downloads all of your Kindle notes, and then it will serve, I think, five a day to you in the form of an email. Now I get this daily email with uh, five highlights that I've made from books over the years. And it's just a nice reminder of what I have read and what I learned. And there's a book that I read years ago, I've mentioned before on the podcast, um, and it has the unfortunate name of Winning Through Intimidation uh, by Robert Ringer. And it, it's not about using intimidation to bully others around. It's, it's really about not being intimidated. And one of my favorite ideas that I, that I say to voice teachers all the time, as well as singers, is don't wait your turn. You take your turn. And don't get on ladders without realizing what you are doing. Um, If you go to a university, you are getting on the ladder of their education system. Uh, If you join a voice teacher organization, you're getting on the ladder of their education system. And and ladders temporarily hold you down. Now, that can be a good thing, but you need to be very choosy and very careful about allowing people to put you on a ladder to delay you taking your turn. And one of the highlights from the book uh, was served up to me this morning, and it talked about intimidation. And it said, basically, his rule is your, your success in an area is in inverse proportion to how much you allow yourself to be intimidated. So if you allow yourself to be intimidated you are not going to see much success. If you do not allow things to intimidate you or others to intimidate you, your chances for success go up greatly. I have watched voice teachers. I've, I know a lot of voice teachers. I've trained a lot of voice teachers. And I have watched voice teachers of meager talents, we shall say, become extraordinarily successful. And I have seen really good, really smart voice teachers not do anywhere near as well. And what I've seen in the mediocre voice teachers who do incredibly well is they are intimidated by no one. They're not intimidated by celebrity. They're not intimidated about getting in front of people. They're not intimidated about bragging, um, even talking nonsense. I, I can think of uh, one teacher in particular who will just say things that are patently not true, but 
they're said with, with such conviction and lack of intimidation because this voice teacher doesn't care what other voice teachers think. Now, I'm not advocating that you not tell the truth or that you um, fabricate or expound upon things, make things bigger than they really are, but you can learn something from that. To, to not be intimidated by the opinions of others is incredibly powerful. To not be intimidated by possible failure or embarrassment really is a sort of superpower. Um, and I am not perfect in this regard. I do pretty well. Uh, I put myself out there. But I do find myself, if I get um, slapped around a little bit, that I find myself second-guessing myself. And, and this even goes to ridiculous internet trolls. Um, and when I go to do, let's say, another YouTube video, and I'll, I'll hear <laughs> the words of, of maybe some trolls bounce around in my head. And I, I have to stop and remind myself that I can't be intimidated. This does not come naturally to me uh, the way it does to others. Um, I've seen people, even in the, the YouTube voice teacher space, um, one teacher in particular who was just fearless, not intimidated by anyone, and started off attacking other voice teachers and was threatened with lawsuits and everything. And um, not that that's the type of behavior that I aspire to. However, the, the lack of anyone's ability to intimidate this person was really a source of strength. And this person has built himself um, into millions of followers. It's quite remarkable uh, because he is fearless, just not going to be intimidated. Now, I, I admit, I do care what my peers think to a degree. However, when I'm going up and about to give a master class, and I know there are voice teachers from different disciplines within the audience, I, I can't let that get in my head. I don't let that get in my head. And I specifically remind myself that I am here to share my knowledge to the best of my ability as I know it, and to try my best to help others. And that, that served me well. Uh, and if I find some criticism, I will, if it looks like valid non-troll criticism, I will indeed look at that and try and learn from it. And uh, if it's valuable, and if it's not valuable, then I dismiss it. But even think of your, your favorite performers. Think of legendary performers. Uh, was Freddie Mercury intimidated by anyone or anything? Absolutely not. I mean, uh, the song Bohemian Rhapsody came from not being intimidated, trying something new and not caring if they failed spectacularly. Frank Sinatra intimidated by no one. Madonna cares not what anyone else thinks. Streisand's the same. Um... Aretha Franklin, not intimidated. And so what I want you to do is think about where you are in your singing career or if you're a teacher, your teaching career versus where you would want to be. And it doesn't have to be a career. Let's say it's your hobby. Do you want to practice this hobby on a higher level? Do you want to get out and start performing. Oh, I see my, my bulldog oatmeal is going to come in the room and give off. So if you hear barking, that is indeed my slightly overweight bulldog oatmeal. But are you where you want to be? And if the answer is no, is intimidation playing a role? Are you allowing yourself to be intimidated by others? or intimidated by circumstance, by needing to take a risk, by the fear of failure, or even the fear of success, the pressures that can bring. What is intimidating you? 
and make a list. Make a list of the things that intimidate you. And I find in these circumstances, brainstorming is great. And writing seems to flow the creative juices, open up the mind a little bit more than typing. I just grab a piece of paper and just start writing it down and just find areas, circumstances when you've been intimidated. When was the last time in your singing and teaching that you've hesitated, you've turned something down, you've, you've felt intimidation. And intimidation is a horrible feeling. It's, it's not a pleasant emotion because it's conflicted. Um, you know you want to do something, and yet forces are stopping you. And intimidation tends to make us feel small and weak and disappointed in ourselves. And so... Once you have that list, go through and find something that is intimidating you and push through it. Start the habit. I'd start a little small. Don't don't get into a super super scary situation. Um, If you're going to start putting yourself out there as a voice teacher, I would maybe start writing blog posts rather than YouTube videos, because YouTube videos, especially if they start to get some traction, you're, you're going to get slapped around. Um, but you need to push through, because hand in hand with intimidation comes imposter syndrome, where you start to think, well, who am I to dare to do this? There are people better than me, smarter than me. They know more. They're more accomplished. Um, they, they have better voices. Uh, the list goes on and on. And everybody deals with imposter syndrome on some level. And everyone deals with intimidation. Well, I gave you my list of people I don't think deal with much. But we all get intimidated. And certainly there is a an evolutionary reason for that because we don't want to put ourselves in uh, profound danger. And so we're intimidated to walk down a sketchy dark alley late at night. That, that's intimidating because we recognize it as danger. But a lot of the things we recognize as danger are not dangerous. And this intimidation, it's really just a mirage. It feels real in our body because our lizard brain brings up these, these primal emotions and these, these fears but it's, it's not real. And if you start not being intimidated one step at a time and not allowing others to push you around, not allowing others to make you wait your turn, but to put yourself out there. I mean, Billie Eilish, teenager in, in a, a bedroom with her brother at her parents' house, not intimidated to create music and put it out there. Her brother, Phineas, I believe his name is, um, not intimidated to produce. He would just go on YouTube and look up how to produce, how to get certain sounds, and and figured this out and created a smash album. Think about performers that you really, really enjoy that give you a thrill of performance. Are they intimidated? If they are, do they let it stop them? Absolutely not. So your assignment uh, for this episode is to push through intimidation and really keep that, that law in your mind. To the degree that I allow myself to become intimidated, I become less successful. It's an inverse proportion. The less intimidated, the more successful. And you deserve success. Other people deserve your success in music. People deserve to hear you. There are people that need to hear you. You have a unique singular voice. And perhaps your audience 
will never be as large as Sinatra's or Freddie Mercury's. You will have an audience. You will have people that will be moved by your voice and you will just bring a lightning to their day and you'll give them moments where they can forget their, their own problems and they can be lost in the music that you create. Or as a teacher, you can reach more and more people and help more and more singers that, that your way of explaining the voice and hearing the voice and teaching the voice is, is yours alone. Even if you're in a, a teacher training program, don't lose yourself. Don't be intimidated within the confines of, of any program or on any ladder. You need to be you because the world needs you. Hey, if you want to know more about me, please visit my website, johnhenney.com. Be sure to sign up for my email address. And if you're interested in becoming a voice teacher, uh, you can click on uh, teacher training at the top of the website. This is a not a formal training program in that uh, you can only study my method. It's all online. It's all through videos. I'm also in there answering questions. And there's certification testing and monthly member webinars. It's actually pretty cool. I've got voice teachers from all over the world um, really enjoying it. So just click on teacher training. And until next time, to better singing. Thank you so much. Bye-bye. <laughs>